y'all what's going on it's your girl tracy shay coming to you from black bird fly with the message from spirit today so holy spirit holy ghost take control none of me and all of you what do you have for your people on today i'm going to start with the um wisdom from the divine feminine energy and see what they have to say holy spirit holy ghost take control none of me and all of y'all i'm going to to decrease while we increase let your light be shown through me thank you father you are seeing clearly now you are seeing beyond the veil you are seeing through the illusions and through the fog okay you are getting understanding and insight at this time because you are integrating okay there is peace equilibrium and fulfillment and in integrating the inner world with the taming and tempering effect life has on us so you are taming um the inner while you're you are bringing everything together okay one 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 so you are now seeing how the things you had to grow through help mold you okay if you did not go through these things, if you did not face these trials, if you did not, if you did not have to deal with these tests, you wouldn't have been um, prepared to receive what God has for you. Okay, you will still be living in low vibration, You're still confused, still stuck in the illusion, but you're coming out of that and things are coming into balance. Okay, like I said, you're getting out of confusion, you are seeing the light, okay, and that is the truth that radical honesty. Okay, now you are seeing that to believe in a facade is to suffocate in the armor of alienation self-defeat and self-denial you are free and you have always been free but now you were just realizing it and it has liberated you okay look at her look how free she looks look how free she looks like rainbow you may be a um a rainbow seed or you may be seeing a lot of rainbows and your chakras are getting into alignment your favorite color might be yellow mustard yellow blue like a um um turquoise blue or fuchsia pink magenta or white okay but now you realize and now you are honoring your emotions as the messages okay that they are and you are integrating them and you were um reacting and responding correctly to them now okay and you are having the appropriate attention action and gratitude and knowing that the responsibility that responsibility is a gift of love to yourself and others you have to evolve you have to grow up you have to gain that responsibility to yourself that you know like nobody else is going to do it for me i have to do this for me i have to want to change i have to go within nobody's coming to save me i am my own hero okay god will save you it's me myself and god who's going to do this okay i can't depend on nobody else for my breakthrough i can't depend on nobody else for my healing it has to come from me okay and with that i am free and with that three four five i am able to be at peace and with that my light is shining and showing okay so it is necessary to ask for and accept help in order to receive it you have the keys to the kingdom you have everything you need you have access to the ancient wisdom and knowledge you just have to ask for help when you need to ask the holy spirit to guide you okay and know that those things that you had to purge from for and for those things that you had to remove and release not the things that you had to purge from the things that you had to um be pruned from purging those things like just really needed to go pruning um you know the things that needed to go went but it was still some things that um needed to be altered and the things that needed to be altered like you can still hold love for it you know in your heart or if it was someone um you had to let go of or 
a job that you really, really like, a guy was telling you to move on so you can be your own boss or whatever it was, you can always hold that absence in your heart, that presence, you know, of love, of light, those memories. Like if you lost a family member or something, you know, even though it's absent in the presence, it's present in your heart. It's absent in the physical, it's present in your heart, okay? So my condolences if anybody lost somebody recently, uh, a child, a sister, a mom, an aunt, a grandpa, a dad, an uncle. Um, <laughs> it was a whole bunch of illusions, a whole bunch of um, distorted desires that was taking place okay conscious desire really satisfies the unconscious need driving it so it's a lot of this man-made physical animalistic um desires of the heart when god wanted you to remove yourself from all these things because they really don't benefit you now once you become a kingdom citizen that's when you get the abundance the true real abundance so now you are seeing the truth now you are seeing the way now you are seeing um the benefits of surrendering to god and allowing the masks that you wore to melt allowing your true colors to show and shine and radiate allowing your spirit self to shine through the many roles that you fulfill Anything else on this very This is a time of renewal. And now you now you know through this through this um integration that regeneration begins with decay. The old you, the old ways, the old habits, the old mindset, the old behaviors had to die, had to decay so you could be rebirthed and so you could realize that only you can accept or reject your dreams. The power is within you. It's not in, in anybody else's hands but yours, okay? So it's time for you to birth something, okay? Your dreams, you felt like they were they were at a standstill or you just gave, gave up on them. But now it's time for you to, to go, to get to work, to get back into action, to fulfill those passions that you've always had, okay? Don't, don't wait anymore. Just go for it. Intimate love is a core need to be met in relation to ourselves and those close to us. The journey to intimacy often includes learning what love is not. 757. Exactly. Like I said, you have to go through these situations. You have to go through some tough, troubling times. You have to face some hard challenges, okay? That wasn't pleasant. You know, dark night of the soul. Um spiritual awakenings initiations aren't always the most pleasant especially dark night of the soul like that's a lot a lot a lot of trauma coming up a lot of hurt um a lot of things that you buried and hid under the surface coming back up and you having to face them with loving open arms and and deal with it okay but through you dealing with it you were able to tap into your higher self and realize like this is not the path this is not the life 844 this is not what i desire and you had that shift in your perspective okay acknowledging asserting and protecting what is right for you now guarding your heart you know being a gatekeeper of your soul knowing that hurt blocks your life so you have to release that hurt you have to release those false beliefs that kept you you you're stuck okay knowing that once the un the untruth that we believe about ourselves or illuminated so are the ways we can release the false limitations they confine us to so you're going through this renewal and you're releasing false beliefs and you're releasing hurt that was in your heart and now you have a calm and clear mind that is seeing things differently 
and you you're taking back your dominion your power your authority and knowing that the trickster's only power is your trust you are always free to withdraw it okay you are free you are free you are free to cut the cords when you need to 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 walk away from situations that don't serve you to tell people to meet you in the palace like Tynik said at prophetic diary check out her channel okay but you are no longer just allowing people to to to, to send you smoking mirrors okay now you are playing the game and you are winning okay you are succeeding okay now you know the truth now you have the right intentions moving forward okay and you know that there is giving and receiving and receiving and giving so now you are giving love and now you are receiving love now you are operating in peace and now you are receiving peace now you are knowing that really you're gonna attract what you what you put out so you are really being intentional about the things that you're putting out at this time focusing on your journey okay knowing that if god hired you can't nobody fire you like maji the high priestess say at maji got to t channel okay so you are the universe you are the universe you are the universe and you are strong and you are firm and you are unmovable when you have Jesus, when you have known that what was intended to harm you, God is using for your good, okay? And you are really creating something beautiful now out of the pain. Out of the pain is this, is this, is this beauty. It's the presence. It's the essence of your authentic self now. You had to go through the pain. You had to go through being altered okay you have to trade in the old so you can receive this newness this sacred this sacred commun communication with spirit to guide you in this expansion that you're going through creating space for the things you really do want to come towards you using your voice to speak your truth and listening to the inner voice that guides you, remembering who you are and the power that has been bestowed inside of you, awakening to this, awakening to the truth, awakening to your gifts and your talents, okay? And letting go of the things that brought you pain and misery and kept you bound and stuck in chains, okay? Paying attention to that still small voice that's guiding you and directing your path and ordering your footsteps, okay? This is bringing forth wellness. This is bringing forth good fortune, okay? This is bringing forth insight that you need. Again, whatever questions you have, ask your soul. You are connected, okay? And if anybody tries to tell you that you aren't worthy, that you aren't beautiful, that you aren't powerful, that you aren't strong, one, three, two, four, that you 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 trying to make you feel like an outcast or that you didn't matter yeah you do god didn't create you for no reason okay let your light shine use your gifts i don't know who tries to stop you but now it's time for you to let your light shine in color use you have different media sources use them to create okay the world is your canvas okay visualize what you want to see and create Take action, divine masculine energy, strong, courageous, okay, leadership, okay, connect to the divine animals. They are speaking, your spirit animals. What animals are you seeing? Or go out in nature, connect with animals, okay? Seeing number 22, okay? But this is time you are attracting abundance. You are soulmate. You are connecting back to who you are, loving yourself and everything about you from the inside out. Not taking no shenanigans for no one. Not letting anybody think that they can control you or run over you or manipulate you or gaslight you. No, you are, you are speaking up. 
even when your voice shakes, you are standing in your power. You are being a good character and integrity of good morals and good standards operating with the fruit of the spirit. Just connecting back to your divine self at this time. Okay? Knowing that everything, nothing has gone on. Okay? Everything is happening how it's supposed to happen. Okay? You had to go through these experiences so you can be elevated so you can be lifted higher and higher and higher so you can go from glory to glory to glory so you can reach the promised land so you can um have your heaven on earth okay so let your light shine do not hide don't hide what do you have holy spirit you may be having uh past life memories at this time imaginable moments um dream messages lucid dreams you may be hearing things in your head having coincidences Synchronicities um, occur. Um, yeah. Holy Spirit, Holy Ghost. This is the deck I'm working on. So I'm going to pull from here. And if you want to book me, I am available for uh, life coaching sessions or careers, Tibetan singing about sound med meditations, Tibetan singing about chakra alignments or channel messages. Email me at blackbirdfly at gmail.com. And if this is resonating with you, again, take what resonates, leave what don't. Um, I have many videos. If this doesn't resonate, check out another one. Um, but again, this is a general reading for a collective. It's a lot of different energies up in here. Okay. All right. So I'm here to take the left. <laughs> the truth is that you are awareness. Okay, you are awareness, and now you were able to integrate. You you can see now that you how you are awareness because you're pulling back. You're having that first eye view. Okay, you're knowing that you're not the mind storms that lie to you, that come, that feed you false beliefs and all of that. And you're not the the physical sensations of these things either. You are the witness to these things, taking that step back and and and, and seeing it, but not connecting it to it, not attaching to it, not taking on its 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 um um attachments and and um and um stress okay exactly you need to have faith over fear during this season again fear is not of god okay god wants you to have bliss god wants you to have joy god wants you to live in abundance and peace and prosperity god wants to elevate you higher and higher and higher god wants to give you rewards okay god wants to dwell in your heart and dwell in your life and allow his name to be glorified through your abundance okay but you have to have the space you can't receive it if your heart chakra is blocked okay <laughs> you are a superstar it's your light shine your light shine your light star seed shine your light earth angel shine your light chosen ones full of greatness you have the it factor. You have it. 1808. You just need to share it. You need to be it. You need to know it. Okay? Split the deck. Get the one on the right. Unleash your alchemy. You have mystical powers, gifts, abilities, talents that you need to use. You need to you need to take action. Divine masculine energy and let your light shine. Top one. <laughs> I just said you got gifts, you got talents, okay? You are unique. It's time for you to express yourself. Express yourself, okay? You are one in a trillion. Nobody can do it like you. It's no competition. It's already yours. But are you gonna get it? It's not gonna, it's not, it's, you have to go get it. Go get it, okay? Go get it. You have the faith and go get it. It's yours, it's waiting on you to go and get it. What else on the spirit? Bottom and then top. Strength, courage, and wisdom is inside of you. You are beautiful on the inside and out. You are attracting your heart's desires. 
okay your energy that you're in right now is attracting your heart's desires but you have to take action okay you have to take action on your heart's desires and you're going to receive it it's already in the air it's already in your energy so i'm going to see what what um the backyard blessings have to say what do you have to say back your blessings about this reading for the collector what do you have to say again it's because you have to go within or you still need to go within well you always need to go within and take time to be still okay but going within it's allowing you to see that something better is around the corner okay it's around the corner better days are around the corner <laughs> Your soul's destiny. This don't even belong in this deck, but it came out. The star goddess. Hello, star. You are a star. You have the it superstar. Star and seeds. Okay. It is here to assist you in knowing your soul destiny and how to achieve it. She brings celestial vision and encourages the beauty of your unique self-expression let your confidence and sense of purpose soar in union with this goddess that your soul destiny be achieved now in your life now god is wanting you to go into this stillness okay so that you can get these insights so you can use these gifts and these and these and these abilities that you possess okay knowing that better it's around the corner once you take action and let your light shine everything is going to come into alignment okay so let your words and action be a window to the goodness in your heart and you're going to reflect you're going to receive all the beauty and the abundance okay so foster community by helping others sharing what you have sharing what you have okay and welcoming all, even those who may be different. So you may be seeing glass green butterflies. Um, you may be connecting to the stars. Um, it's time for you to walk this path, though. Okay? You may be seeing chickadees and finches. Last one. Okay? But you need to be collaborating at this time. And I'm the messenger here to tell you this. It's time. It's time. It's time. Also... You need to express yourself. It's time. It's time. It's time. Okay? You've been blending in for long enough. You're more than ready to stretch your stuff. Express your artistic drag. When you can contribute your talents and skills to a group effort, the results will amaze you. Don't underestimate your own strength. A flash of red against the snow attracts your attention. So you'll know you have a visitor from Angelic Realm. Welcome his message this is the message express yourself use your gifts use your talents you may also have supernatural encounters like i said deja vu um dream messages um just different experiences that's giving you signs confirmations pay attention let your light shine it's a shift happening okay you may feel like you were just an ordinary being but you're not you're not you are a superstar okay so shine your light and when you do that you glow with joyful exuberance for all the world to see be extraordinary you do not fit in your destiny is bigger you have a big mission here on earth you're not supposed to fit in okay so when you trust your heart and heed the signs nothing will keep you from fulfilling your true destiny you are exactly where you need to be on your journey okay so act with determination you may be seeing beads but every time you hear i it can't be done you become more determined than ever to accomplish what you set out to do dare to defy expectations again it's not a time for you to try to sit back it's not a time for you to dim your light no 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 lightness being of light is your true essence okay your true being so with you spreading your light sharing it gives your talents Working with the community and collaborating, letting God work His His magic through you. Um, 
may your burdens be few and your blessings bountiful and may you discover your lightness of being let it lift you up in all that you do okay and it's because of 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 you and your kindness you're going to attract healthy relationships you're going to attract new friendships you're going to attract um collaborations that are going to bring forth prosperity okay you're going to attract what you put out okay so the robin reminds you that life moves in cycles of continual change even in times of uncertainty have faith that every day brings bright new beginnings this is a new beginning for you okay so i'm just going to conclude with the whispering wood and see what they have to say what do you have to say for the collective you learned you've learned so much okay through the, you were uncertain you had some uncertainty, but through humility, having to be integrated, having to face these trials and, and situations and get back to your origins, letting go of fear, picking up that faith, walking in your truth, allowing God to use you, becoming renewed, now you're going to be resilient. Now you're ready to take the risk, be the leader, be the teacher, be the healer that you were called to be. That's going to bring you joy. That's going to bring you connections, friendships, partnerships, okay? And that's going to bring good flow of fruit for you, okay? Fruit. You are fruitfulness. You are fruitful, okay? That is your path. That is the path that God is leading you towards. A season of, of harvest, okay? But you have to be transformed so you can receive this harvest, okay? You have to emerge with beauty from your cocoon, okay? And it took you being patient. It took you having, having to really, really connect with spirit so you can grow, okay? But now your, your soul is singing with joy, with melodies okay your soul is singing and it is talking to you and wanting you to shine your light okay so um you may be getting confirmations from different music that you're listening to as well but when you ask your soul your soul will sing the melodies of your heart to you okay so be be love be light okay and when you don't understand things, take time to be still and tread softly and just be still and just wait on the Lord and wait on the Lord to guide you. And it's going to happen. God will guide you, okay? But it's time for you to believe in you, believe in your dreams, believe in the impossible things becoming possible. Hope, hope. Okay, like an idea, an idea like a single acorn can start a wondrous forest. Okay, your idea you have is going to be fruitful, a wondrous harvest. Okay, you're going to live a wonderful life. Okay, if you believe, if you take action, if you receive, if you use your gifts and your talents, if you change for the better okay so remember fallen leaves do not signify the end but the beginning of a fruitful season change that's all i have for you all today family i love you peace love and harmony